and Selena will make a fine husband. I just can't get down with pizza guys. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to the Smokescreen Podcast, episode 68, and uh, we're going to continue with House of the Dragon, season one, episode five. You didn't cheat, did you? I didn't even nope. ask you. No cheating. <laughs> Uh, I want to say we we do want to mix it up and get back into some other stuff, some true crime. But we James is like making a good point, right? Everybody's enjoying these, and then they're looking for the next one. So now we need to kind of finish it. Yeah. But I told you you could skip one. You know, we can only do all of them. Uh, and be sure to join us after the podcast. Here we're going to start our first overtime or yeah. whatever we're going to call this. We're going to go a little longer. Talk about some things exclusively for Patreon members and for channel members on YouTube. Um, we really appreciate your support, and uh, we're trying to get back, you know, full steam here. We can actually yeah. support ourselves and eat. I think but, you'll um, like it. This will be our first one, and like you said, I think we will probably leave if, if people want it. You let us know too in the comments on Patreon or on uh, channel member post only. Um, leave the whole thing up as well. Maybe they'll want both. Well, either yeah. way, we'll do an overtime or whatever we're going to call it. But uh, maybe we leave the whole thing up where it's just completely unedited. I don't have to take the show out and uh, watch the whole entire reaction. But I do just tend to cut out some of the more duller parts right. whatever, to keep it shorter. And we know that yeah, it, yeah. if you have yeah. the time to literally re-watch the whole thing, yes. it would flow better to oh, see sure. our yeah. reactions along, and the build-up yeah. and watch everything. Along. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. But yeah, let us know. We're, we'll, we, we'll add some other stuff as well, some other perks and whatever. But yeah. But anyway, so be sure to stick around. So after, jump over to Patreon or the channel member. There'll be a link in the channel member post on YouTube. And you'll see our little overtime bit or whatever the hell we're going to call it. And we talked about, um, what was it, Mother God. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, though. It's cool, to, it's cool to have like a little, you know, build a little back queue uh, building yeah. up of possible uh, topics. Right, right. You know, that's I don't know, though. Sometimes. That one, after thinking about it, it's like, I don't know. Is that like a podcast or like a 15-minute conversation? You know what it I mean? Depends. It's, it's kind of like it's, a few we, we've seen mm -hmm. before. But anyway. We'll get to some other stuff. And um, by the way, we crossed 100K, man. We did. That was exciting that to was watch. Cool. I, I, I mean, it's, it's really kind of still unbelievable. Yeah, me. it is. Because it, it just happened so fast. So we, we started getting a lot of traction on the true crime stuff, the podcast. And then I was like, you know, let's try some of these ads and this new thing. And it's just it just took off, man. It's crazy. But nothing yet to order the plaque. Nothing yet. The thing says congrats or whatever, but we're still reviewing your channel or whatever. So it'll be a day or two. Or it says up to 10. And then I'll send you a code when you get that silver play button. We'll do an unboxing. That would be we'll fun. We'll go live. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. We'll go live. We talked about it so often. And then uh, I hit you up the other day. And I was like, wait a second. Is it going to break 100K tonight? Yeah, I said, I think so. Yeah. Because it's, it's just been crazy. I mean, views skyrocketed and subscribers especially and it just went from you know we were we were creeping back up to you know 80 80 something thousand where we were when game of thrones ended mm -hmm. with the podcast since we started what back september we started back up something, something like, like that, that yeah and uh but damn this shit just took off man so we are officially past 100k uh, it's I, I said it i didn't even realize almost eight years to the day Wow. Because I started the channel in 2015, but I started in January, but I never did a video till I think like April or May. Mm -hmm. So it just sat there like I didn't know what to do, you know, whatever. And um, it was almost because I got a thing on the on the studio saying it's your YouTube birthday or whatever. And I'm like, holy shit. Eight years, man. Eight years and probably 1,200 videos. Yeah. And, and now if I stop <laughs> to think about it, I remember it. Yeah. Eight years. Of Makes sense, because uh, I remember being uh, down in that basement you just brought up yeah. the other day. Well, you had all and your I, cool and, shit set up down there. And you were telling me about your YouTube channel, and I would come over and stuff. Yeah, and that's funny. I went back, and I was looking through like just subscribers. You can go in there and look at subscribers, and I, and I clicked Lifetime, and you could just scroll and scroll and scroll, and you're the first one. 
I found you the first one. I swear to God. That's really cool, man. <laughs> You're the first wow. subscriber. I mean, at least listed. Yeah. Because, you know, you have to have them public or whatever to be for me to see that. I see. Okay. But, I mean, it was right there at that January, whatever it was. Uh, I don't ex- I don't know the exact date. It was just a few days ago. So we we hit 100K like within a day or two of the channel's birthday. And I remember telling all my friends and stuff and people at work, I'd be like, my buddy's got a YouTube channel now. And yeah. 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 Guys, so it's just been crazy. It's been a crazy ride. I mean, like I think it only shows 800, 900 videos public, but there's been like 1,200 because there's been a lot of deleted ones and more, anything marked uh, private or whatever don't show in the count. But over a 1,000 times I or we have sat down, recorded a video, edited the damn thing, uploaded it, thumbnailed a whole nine over a 1,000 times. I think about 1,200 times. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. The amount of hours, and and this almost it feel, almost feels like a a stamp of approval on all your hard work, um, you know. Yeah, here's yeah. 100k. Here's your button. You're gonna hold that thing, and you're gonna remember all those thousand times. Yeah, I, exactly. It's 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 crazy, man. Um, but yeah, yeah, you know, it's not just me. You you brought this thing along too. Um, this podcast and then the live stream, especially all that stuff. It ain't just me. I started it, but I didn't finish it all. But either way, man, I'm I'm super excited. Uh, now, if we can get the um, you know watch time back up, all that good stuff, and and money wise, we can support ourselves. <laughs> and we'll work on Patreon. We still got to talk about that. Do some you know like some overtime. We were talking about doing like an overtime, ten minute, fifteen minute, whatever on these podcasts exclusive. If if there was a just a couple more of those damn episode ones I know, I know. that we could come up with. I know, exactly. <laughs> just sit them out there and they just churn. Uh, uh, it's crazy. It, yeah, it's weird, man. YouTube is weird. It's changed a lot, but it's always been weird. Like the things you think is going to do great don't. The things you think you don't put much effort into or as much all of a sudden take off. It's really odd, man. It's. Um, I mean, there's some definite skill and whatever to it, but a lot of it's just luck it, it yeah. really is that's crazy and we talked about it last time when we when we talked about carol you know yeah. the importance of our community and everything yeah. and um you know i uh, just want to take a minute to say happy birthday to d brown yes that's right happy birthday you know, d brown i saw that on facebook and i said hey man I'm not going to say anything on Facebook. Right, right. Just say something See, on that's here. what I normally don't do unless and, I see them. But, uh, yeah, yeah if, I, I usually text people. You know, yeah, that's but, what I know, try to do uh, myself. But, I mean, Facebook's a good reminder. It know? is. We that's, saw our buddy Jim, you know, had a yep. birthday today. Jim Love, happy birthday. Yeah, man. But, yeah, so happy birthday, D. That's cool. Another longtime supporter in this yes. community. And that, that's what's really, you know, made this thing special, man, was the community um around it and you know the larger got community all that stuff and you know the other creators out there too i mean it's not just you know you don't do this alone you know even nope. you, you do the videos alone all that kind of stuff and you, you put in a lot of blood sweat and tears but you know it's it's collaborations it's other youtubers it's all that kind of stuff you know suggesting each other and um shit just and you know just catches fire at some point i guess just yeah God, I'm I at, think you know Tony how many times Teflon had a birthday uh, recently. Th- that's right. I sent you him a said message. Other YouTubers I, I, that reminded that's me. That's right. I did. I sent him a message, and uh, I think he's uh, I think he's in Nashville. Wow, Nashville for a week to celebrate his birthday in the old kind of thrown stomping grounds. I saw a little uh, where we met him. Yeah, I think that's where exactly where y'all. Uh, <clears throat> I still have the pictures. Of y'all, he's got he's got the boxing. Yeah, he's got the boxing. <laughs> Every time Dance. I th- see him or think about him, I think about boxing. boxing yep. yep, yep. He's deep in that world, man. He is. But anyway, uh, we'll uh, hopefully I'll be able to order that next day or two, and we'll uh, at some point have a in the next. I, I'd imagine, and it's not going to be, but a week or two before it gets here. So we'll maybe we'll do a live stream, or we'll do a special just podcast unboxing, and whatever we do, we'll we'll figure something out. But we got to get you caught up. So next year, by the way, I think they announced August. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Maybe it's April. It's an A month, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the House of the Dragon will be back for season two. I think it's August. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's August because it's going to overlap with Rings of Power again like it did last year, but I don't think anybody's going to watch Rings of Power. But anyway, so maybe we'll be back in the live streams after post-show live streams then. Man, so, yeah. 
Um, all right, episode five, halfway. We're going to be halfway through the season. You ready? I think this is ready. Yeah. Yeah. I need Any, to see uh, do we need to do a recap or anything? I don't know. We'll have a recap here. Yeah. If I can get this thing to work again. There we go. All right. Here we go. Um, oh, we like the way. There's, there's a scene in there I'm already thinking about. <laughs> I don't remember everything in every episode in the order, but I know that I know there's one in here. There's going to be a good reaction. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Here we go. House of the Dragon, episode five, We Light the Way. All right. We know how shit like this goes, though. Yeah. It causes all kind of yeah. issues. Yes. I didn't even ask you if you noticed any of the changes, the little changes with the family growing here. Each I one, haven't. Yeah. I haven't. I, each and one represents a person. So it'll keep on changing. But this is not, I mean, it's cool, but it's not Game of Thrones cool. No, but it is. I, it, I'll give it to yeah. it. It's cool. If this was the first one, we'd think it was oh, really yeah, cool. Oh, absolutely. But For yeah, sure. they sure. got a lot to live up to. Well, you know the one that represents like Rhaenyra's the necklace, right? The necklace shaped thing that uh, Damon gave right. her. Right. That's about it. Yeah. That should be Viserys, right? But is it already too far along? I don't remember. You know, it's kind of stupid that, like, all this info is out there. So, like, I want to ask you all kind of things, uh -huh. but at the same time, I don't want any quote unquote spoilers yes. because it's so cool to watch it unfold. And <laughs> yeah, there's so many things I'm holding back. <laughs> the spaceships, huh? The ships, they're coming. To yeah, <laughs> Mother God, yeah. Robin Williams is coming. He's a oh shit. Cousin? Well, it's lobster. What's today's quarry? Shrimp, scampi. <laughs> oh, shit. This is going to open up with a bang. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, fuck. Consummate our marriage. <laughs> Even if I'm not. Our mm. sheep are prettier, after all. At <laughs> <laughs> last, have his fill of your company. Cast you aside in favor of. Getting out of that marriage. <laughs> the bronze bitch. Yep. I knew you couldn't finish. <laughs> oh, oh my shit. god. <laughs> oh shit. He is a man of few words. <laughs> Okay, hold on, real quick that. though, real quick. Do you think he did that on purpose? I mean, obviously picking up the rock afterwards. Did he did something to make spook that horse? Yes. Okay. I I, th I think I, you tell I, me. I know I, it's it's kind of like he's clearly seemed to be there to do that, right? Yeah, he's got to get rid of her so he can then go back and go. Yeah, I'm a widow. Right. <laughs> 
Um, cause in the book he does, you know, it's, it's unclear. You don't know. That's what I'm okay. saying. Okay. And uh, then once it happens though, he goes to claim like the veil and stuff for his own cause she died. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> and they say, hell no. And they run him off. Damn. But it just makes you wonder. He didn't really do anything. He did hold his hand out. That's true. So there's like a debate about it. Obviously he finished the job. Uh, he's not just put her out of her misery. Yeah. That's exactly. what he's going right. to say. It's Exactly. Uh oh, he's seasick. Looks, yep. See, I don't remember all these little scenes. Damn. Awesome. That's who I wanted him to choose to be the hand. Yep. The Strongs. <laughs> Remember yeah, we said he's the only straight shooter? He is, I'm telling you. But man, that family comes into play. I can't say anything, damn it. <clears throat> Get to see uh Driftmark. So this is Valarion, House Valarion. Damn, that looks cool as hell. Well, this is back in King's Landing here, obviously. Autos. Was that place in Essos where you go under the big giant statue's legs, between his legs or whatever? The boss of the rock? When you're on a boat and you go. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Bravo's. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Got to give Allison credit here. She's, at least at this time period, she's not wrong. Listen to me, daughter. See it. The time Manipul is manipulative bastard. Anymore. You ain't kidding. Even that's manipulation. Mm-hmm. Man, he ain't doing good. I tell you what, I won't, without spoiling anything, in the last, I think it's episode nine, I want to say, man, I could be wrong. It's one of the best scenes in all of Game of Thrones: House of the Dragon. Really? It, it's so you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. Nobody came out. You remember Lanor from he wrote Sea Smoke. Yes. In the battle. Mm -hmm. mm. That is disrespectful. <laughs> He's still holding a little grudge. <laughs> An outsider among the natives. Oh, heal. Here we go. Malvalis. Rare bloom. Indigenous so that is one of the sons of the hand. Oh, really? Yeah, so he's right. Larry Strong, the club. He shouldn't be thriving here. Nature. Oh. The other one was Harwin, the one she ran into running through the yeah, streets, gold cloak that grabbed her. Yeah. That was Harwin, his brother. Okay. Oh, shit, I think I know. Mm-hmm. That the Grand Maester himself brought. Gospin, mother. At the direction of the king was there. Mm. Who had been wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Jesus fucking, oh my God. There he goes. I was say, he's not going to stand up. Are you well? Very. I congratulate you. 
Yeah. A neck and skull both crushed in the fall. The most surprising mm. man. <laughs> Lady Ra The gods are cruel. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, oh, shit. See homosexual? Yeah. Was that just introduced or did I miss it from something? No, no, oh. I just, yeah. Okay. Ceres is taken to bed. They grew up together. <laughs> and he wants to deny it. Is not at issue. But everybody knows it. She's grown quite comely these last few years. We know his true nature. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. See, he's still not over that. He's not. You would have to marry a woman? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you were in that position. Right. Why is she sailing around? Good question. I guess the... That's fucking cool, man. You got a little gazebo. Yeah, <laughs> I know. A little tent up back. Mm-hmm. I've heard you say... He rode the dragon. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he did, didn't he? Hmm. <laughs> He's not like me, talking to Melanie. <laughs> She'd be like, no. <laughs> Exactly like mm. that. A great house, and Selena will make a fine husband. I just can't get down with pizza guys. Wait a minute, this might need to be a go in our overtime. <laughs> what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, that's a good. It's a good deal. I mean, I it is, continue. but he's a romantic. My white knight. I took an oath. As a, as a... Uh oh. He's gonna go relapse. <laughs> Do what? What you say? <laughs> I didn't hear that part. He's going to go relapse. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. oh, shit. <laughs> I feel like she gets prettier with every scene. Yeah. She get prettier in the time jump. Like as she gets older, yeah. And Olivia Cook steps in here, I think, hmm. soon. You'll need leeches. <laughs> that's, that's their answer for everything. I left the princess just minutes ago. Not the princess, sir. Mm. Oh, shiitake. You can kind of start to see these divides. Yeah. All right, so I guess... Is it true she drank tea? Yeah. <laughs> so I guess next episode is the bigger time jump with uh, Eamon and stuff. So that's Selena. Breach his door. 
rather lapses. If it happened, you agree? I mean, especially with those paintings on the wall. Mm hmm. I can't believe he just said that. Yeah, he thinks still my hand. I know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. It is no excuse. Wow. Yep. He's too easy a nut to crack. I deserve. She did not expect to hear that. But if. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow, dude. Christian. Oh my God. Mm. She knows he's not lying. The dude just said. That's right. He volunteered that information. Kill me. You may go. See, now she's getting in the political game. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Damn, what a scene. <laughs> what a scene. Loose lips sink ships. Damn right. <laughs> Rather than guild me. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> Can you please kill me? Yeah, don't cut my man at all. My bulls. Look at his arm. Has brought his grace relief. These fucking dudes have no clue or the old man anyway. If he calls on her again in this shape, yeah, he is just wrong. Let her be. I don't think he can. Good. Nice to greet you. <laughs> oh. Sir, that was your ink wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted to write a letter. Yeah. What the <laughs> hell? Will I be remembered as a good keeper? God, he looks rough. Oh hell, you ain't seen shit, yeah. Really? Mm. Please have pity. The shot be that I would ride like Gagon the Conqueror, given the chance. Hey, I'm sorry. I just thought about something in the lore. He rode Beleri in the Black Dread the last time, right? And then he died, and he's never taken another dragon. Now, we know Targaryens are pretty much immune to sickness. Mm. And he's the only one that's not a dragon rider right now in this family. Mm. I, I just now, it just popped in my head, I wonder if that's why. Wow. Not necessarily they're immune to everything. I don't I know. know. There's no saying. specific details, but, you know, they real dragons, so to speak, like Danny, they can be burned and all that kind of yep. stuff without, you know, being affected. They're pretty much immune to sickness. They love heat. And I just thought about that. He rode Valyrian once and, re and refused to take another dragon. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Uh, maybe why he fell ill. You might be right. I guess Otto wasn't invited to the wedding, huh? <laughs> wow. This is only the welcome feast. I admit, I cannot. <laughs> Where is the future queen? I wanted this to be a wedding for the histories. <laughs> oh, shit. Stupid, <laughs> just say that. He's so awkward. <laughs> he is, dude. <laughs> I like his character. Yeah, no, no it's too. cool. He drops in like this. Yeah. <laughs> Your Grace, Princess Rhaenyra, congratulations. Oh. 
They're all fancy. Hell yeah. He's not wearing his helmet, man. It's against protocol or something. <laughs> he's he's got to be. Am I betrayed? Am I betrayed? <laughs> there's creepo fucking a. oh shit there's some oh I can't wait for you to see some of those scenes <laughs> shit oh <laughs> shit Damon rolls in alone no announcement Such a dick. <laughs> He's like, Give him a damn chair. <laughs> I'm colorblind. What color is that green. dress? It is green. Okay. Emerald. And so it begins. What? I just don't get why she's so bent out of shape. Who? Um, the queen. Allison? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I understand the what her dad said about, you know, you better watch your boys and, you know, your kids and all that. It's not much but... This is not that. This is some catty female it, shit. It is. It's... It's a, it's the jealousy of her being the free spirit mm -hmm. and all that stuff, and she's there pushing out airs, and she knows now that even though she gets married, she has to have her cake and eat it too because she's going to yep. be the queen and then also have her side piece. Yep. And that's exactly what it is. It's kind of prudish. Yeah. But there was like a moment right there. Obviously, she planned that to walk in the room. Mm -hmm. They're made to answer for their crimes. Oh, shit. <laughs> Even in Targaryen. Landing men are made to answer for their slanders. Even old bronze cunts like you. <laughs> <laughs> bronze cunts. is, I'm glad you've come. I wish to speak to you about my inheritance. Uh, wow. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Why, dude? Yeah, you can see it from a mile away. Yeah. Dude ain't got no helmet. And... <clears throat> it's kind of cool to see, like, these little traditions we never saw. You know, is... weird, weird dances and shit. And... This is this is not a good move, dude. I don't think. That's my darling. Princess is too. Well, I've already kind of divulged my part. Oh, mushroom. 
That's right. That was the one shot of mushroom. I suppose. I think that's supposed to be mushroom. The dwarf that was. Hmm. <laughs> Can somebody help him cut his food? He ain't got no fucking fingers. Exactly, man. He's so you really want to marry Jesse Smollett? <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god wait, yeah, yeah. careful careful what is going on here man what is wasn't damon What the hell's going on? Kristen Cole. He lost his shit. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Look. Kingsguard should be down there looking for the queen or princess. Wow. Harris Hart was strong, though. He don't give a fuck. Oh, my God, dude. Jesus, dude. Now look what he did. Holy shit. What the hell, dude? Oh my God. I forgot about that looking like Oberyn Martell. It took Harwin Strong to go get Renera. Oh He's your sworn God. fucking guard. Yeah. Told that dude wasn't a good idea. Don't look, dude. Don't, mm -mm. don't look. Mm -mm. Keep him away. I know. Of House Targaryen. Brought out Seppuku. You meddling. <laughs> oh, my God. I need you to be a witness. Dude, so much is going it on. It is. This is this is a big episode. Look at that shit, man. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I gotta see the next week uh, teaser. Is she having bastard kids? I, I mean, I I don't know. Do you do you wow. want me to say? I don't want to say anything. That's what it looked like they were implying. Uh huh. Well, remember, well, I'm a um. Damn. I, if I say anything, I'll spoil. Uh, okay. I mean, you already have an idea clearly. Wow. So, yeah, a lot of shit going on. So next week's the big time jump. So that's yeah. going to be like the new actors. So everybody's grown up. You know, Allison, Rhaenyra, and then uh, Lena, Lenor, all those older characters coming in next week. And then we'll see uh, Aemon already, what did he look, 10? Aegon, maybe 12, 14, something yeah. like that. So we, we got a long jump. We got a, about 15-year jump, I think. Um Anyway, so yeah, a lot of shit right there. That this is like a real pinnacle episode now watching it the second time, especially. You see especially Allison who's 
fairly innocent and, you know, up to this point and on Rhaenyra's side, best friends, all that. She hears the truth. She knows she lied to her. And like you said, though, it's it's really not that big of a deal. You're talking about young kids and she had the same urges. Mm -hmm. She just let, you know, but she lied to her. And she found out the truth. He just gave it all up, like, instantly. Dude just cracked, like yeah. you said, like an egg. Man. Um, and then she's like, oh, okay, well, she didn't lie about Damon, but she came home and yeah. fucked, <laughs> you know, her king's guard. Um, but she got political right then. She knew, okay, he's mine now because I got a secret. Yeah. So And she purposely walks out in that green dress. Yeah, and and what did the guy say about Green? The right High Tower. Did? Okay, so you remember High Tower where Sam goes to Old Town, where the mm -hmm. Maesters all go train. That's how. That's the High Tower. That's where that house High Tower is from. In times of war, there the big giant High Tower burns green. Okay. Yeah. So that was the statement. Yes, that she was making. It was clearly a statement. So she's just made this line really. You know, where it was kind of there, starting to you just start see some splinters. Now it's a line. It's like a crack, a full-fledged, I don't know, chasm, fissure, so, whatever. So she kind of really distanced herself right there from Rhaenyra. She decided at that point, kind of, you know what I'm saying? And now she's, I guess you could say, kind of understanding what her father's saying. Or so starting we to used to talk about house... Black and or whatever. Well, the greens and the blacks. Yeah, yeah. Does that have something to do with the green? Yeah. So okay. Um. So th again, that's what goes down in history. They were called the two factions, right, of this civil war that's coming. Mm -hmm. It's called the blacks and the greens. The blacks is Renera and her team, and then Team Green is Allison and her team. Okay. And that's what happened. Is it's it's a little different from the book where they were attending a different event and Renera wore the House Targaryen black and red. And she wore green, and that's all the gossipers started saying, you know, the queen is green or whatever, and she's black, and so that became their kind of nicknames: the blacks, the blacks versus the greens. So that was the first big statement there. Okay. So yeah, he, um, Kristen Cole, as, as I said, big change for him. Now he's Renera's sworn shield. But whose team is he on now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he, I mean, look, and it's, I like the way they did it, though. It came from heartbreak, from being rejected. Like this dude, and it kind of goes back to what we were talking about last week, right? With the arguing about, you know, um, was it a power thing on her part, you know, consensual, all that stuff, even though he did physically. Now it kind of comes back where he said, like, he's, you want to leave all this? Leave with me. Let's go get married and I can get my honor back. I broke my vows for you. So that's kind of that stuff too. And um, when the guy came up and was like, "Look, we got secrets," you know, uh, he, that was he just, was like, "Okay, yeah." So that dude is taking away what I care about. Yes, I'm gonna take away what he cares about. Yeah, that was the dumbest. It was just a dumb move, dude. You to go up there and say that to him. Yeah. The dude is sitting there watching with no helmet on. The only one with no helmet, by the way. Mm -hmm. And he, he clearly he's realized that everybody can see it, and he's afraid that gets out. Now he was going to go, you know, take his own life. But Allison, again, right there to save him. So now who's he loyal to? Yeah. When she starts believing her father's shit. So we get the big time jump, you know, new actors and all that for the, the ladies anyway, and then I think Lane Orr and a couple others. But. I could totally see Allison sleeping with him too. You know, because yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, that's been a discussion actually for the, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think she did, but I think it's possible. And there's a reason why I won't spoil yet. Um, it makes you think that she may be, may be akin, and it's arguable, uh, to do things, uh, for political purposes at this point. Mm. Yeah, that'll make sense later. Okay. But yeah, a lot, a lot going on in that episode. Again, the, Without a lot of action or any of that stuff, dragons and all that stuff, you get to see that later. But yeah, lots changed right there. The Lanor thing, <laughs> like his dad don't accept it, but everybody else in the realm knows it. And then his 
his lover gets killed right there on the floor. I mean, that was horrible. Damn. It was terrible. That was over in Martell style, or Martell style fucking yeah. mountain crushing in face. I'd forgotten the the gore part right there. I knew he beat the shit out of him, but that was as graphic as it gets. Yeah, pretty much. And then he crawls over to him, and it's like, uh, and then the during the wedding, I mean, he's sitting there just crying the whole time during the wedding. It's supposed to be a big happy event. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was so wild. But it's what it all boils down to, I think, is is uh, heartbreak, right? I mean, the guy got rejected, and that's kind of what kicked all this off, and Alice had picked up on all this and ran with it. And um, Damon, I, he's so open about everything. <laughs> you know, remember when uh, – he was getting kicked and on the ground and everything. He still didn't care. He he's, didn't deny it, and he didn't yeah. do anything. I mean, he started I mean, it, but yeah. So then he's going to go out there in front of everybody, and it looked like he was about to kiss her. It, it, it did. all hell broke loose. Yeah, he goes out there, um, you know, has a little, little, little flirting with Lena there, too, before he gets to uh, Rhaenyra. But that, that's also what I mean. Yeah. And, and you'll yeah. see later, too. Remember, you asked, you, you said uh, last week, I think it was, um, I don't know if he really cares about her. Uh, you, you'll, there's more to come. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Um, that's what I was saying. That's that's not, not that's that scene, but I, I think he, he does, actually. But anyway. Like I told you during the break, this show really holds, it stands up on its own. It's really good. It, it I, is. I, I yeah. Really you don't like need it. Game of Thrones. I mean, it obviously is helpful to know just, in your mind, you know, okay, what we're going to see later down the road in 170 years. And the house names help it yeah, feel yeah, familiar sure. and all that. Yeah, so. I mean, the difference is, like I said, is this is, um, you know, just kind of localized in, in the, the the King's Landing area, Dragonstone, Driftmark, just kind of in that little uh, Crownlands area in Westeros. So you're not seeing Lannisport in the north and all that stuff. I mean, you're going to see some of those quickly. But it's all like localized, you know. But it's a good story. It's a good side story, and it tells you how it all ended for Targaryens, you know, and dragons, and leads up to, which makes you know, if you think about it, disregard anything you don't like about season eight or whatever. If you don't like that for Game of Thrones, it's where it shows how magical that is for Danny when she hatches those dragons. Because after all this is over, we know what's going to happen. There's yeah. no secret, you know. So, And I saw in the little uh, teaser, there's a dragon egg. They opened the top of that pot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, at this time, there's still, what, 20-something dragons. We'll see 17 in the show, I believe. And um, But you know what happens when dragons fight dragons. I mean, yeah. you know that's coming. Yep. And we've heard the stories, and we've got, you know, of course, it the overall thing that happened is spoiled in Game of Thrones. Clearly, there's no dragons left in the world. Right. So so what we'll start doing is for Patreon, for the podcast Patreon, um, we want to start doing these little little extra overtime. We'll call it overtime or something. Maybe they can come up with a name. But for Patreon members and channel members, we'll put this up and have an extra 5, 10, whatever, 15 minutes, whatever it is on whatever topic we're discussing and, and go into it a little deeper, a little extra. And uh, we'll call it, I don't know, overtime sounds sure. good. I think uh, that's Bill Maher's thing, right, overtime? But <laughs> is it? it is. Yeah, when he goes, like, after the show is over, and then he goes live for 10 minutes on YouTube. Okay. With all the guests come back out for 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, shit, I didn't know that. Or Q&As. You could do Q&A stuff, too, you know, if, if you people want to leave uh, questions, um, you know, on Patreon or whatever, we can answer those during these uh, little overtime breaks. So we'll do that, and... um. Um, you know, so if you're a channel member, you'll get access to that as well. And uh, I'll put a, a link or whatever to, uh, to Patreon or wherever I have it uploaded. It'll be a separate video on Patreon, so it won't be actually on YouTube, but do that for channel members and Patreon. All right. Well, we'll get out of here and head to overtime. We'll let them name it. We'll figure out a cool name. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, let them name it, but uh, we'll let it, uh, fade to black.